effective training does not begin the minute trainees walk into the training center and take their seats. Good training includes focused activities before, during, and after the actual training session. The better the upfront planning is, the better the actual training is likely to be. This planning helps the organization identify what is needed for employee performance before training begins so that there's better alignment between training and strategic needs. Then the follow-up after training brings the process full circle to determine how performance has been impacted. An orderly approach to training follows a purposeful process called Instructional Systems Design. Instructional Systems Design, or ISD, is a step-by-step -step process to ensure that the right learning materials are provided to the right people at the right time. A popular model called the ADDIE framework is often used to explain this process. The ADDIE model includes five key phases. First is assessment. The performance problem or issue is clarified, resource budgets are determined, and the learning environment and learners' existing knowledge and skills are identified. Then comes design, which is a macro-level phase where learning objectives and media selection are determined. Next is development, a micro-level phase where content is solidified, instructional materials are created, and pilot are tested. Then delivery, where training is delivered to a target audience. And finally evaluation, where assessments and measures are taken to determine the effectiveness of the training. While there are five distinct phases of the ISD process, in most cases the phases overlap. Although the process appears to be linear, it's actually iterative. It is common to recycle back to an earlier phase when information is uncovered at later stages.